there. I'm Greg Davis and this is Taskmaster. Five of the nation's most competitive comedians are going head to head in hope of winning my head in all its golden glory. <laughs> yes, at the end of all five episodes, one of them will be awarded the Taskmaster trophy and that person's career will at last take off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our contestants. They are Al Murray. <laughs> On his slightly smaller throne is Alex Horn, but who is Alex Horn? Mm, well, you've given me some notes, and according to your notes that you've written, I'm your official secretary. I have some skills as an, and an equal number of weaknesses. For example, I steal things. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's my resume that you wrote. Mm, oh, that's true, isn't it? Mm. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. What? I've stolen a car. No, in real life. I stole a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last year. Oh, recently as yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't like childish hygiene. No, it was unlocked and uh, the keys were in the ignition and I stole the car. <laughs> uh, on with the show. Um, today's prize category. What have these people brought in for me? OK, it's quite a niche one this time. The five rivals have been asked to bring in the heaviest item that can fit in a shoebox. <laughs> OK, so whoever brings in the heaviest item that can fit in a shoebox, they'll win the first maximum points of the show. Whoever wins the episode will win five shoeboxes full of heavy items. <laughs> All yeah. to play for. Where to start? Paul, hello. How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing better now. <laughs> what heavy item did you bring and why am I going to give you all the points for it? Because uh, it's heavy. <laughs> Really? What is it? Melon, innit? <laughs> a lot of melon. It's, it... Uh, it is a lot of melon. No, because it's, it's a watermelon. <laughs> is melon something traditionally associated with heavy weight? <laughs> I mean, I think. <laughs> I think of words that I, I would pop before weight to emphasise the heaviness. I'd say lead, maybe. Lead. But... Melon. <laughs> um, who should we have a look at next? Dave? Yeah, I, I brought a lump of marble that I dug out of my garden. <laughs> wow. oh, that so, looks heavy. You've got a garden full of marble, yeah? We had a garden that was massively overgrown when we moved in and we had to clear it all and I think it was a collapsed sort of bird table or something. It would have been nice if you could have taken some time to scrub that bird <laughs> <off>. <laughs> Um, Al, what, what did Al bring us? I brought um, Alan Bullock's classic history, Hitler and Stalin Parallel Lives. Because <laughs> that is really, really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at that. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's pretty offensive, but why have you censored out the shoebox instead? <laughs> See, the shoebox has got its own Hitler moustache. <laughs> Suddenly, melon seems fine, doesn't it? <laughs> Sarah, what did you bring in? Um, I have brought um, a poisonous snake. It's um, very heavy, so the, the lid is shut. OK. And it's very poisonous. Have we weighed the snake? Well, no, I wasn't allowed to approach the box. I was told there needed to be a handler, so we don't... I mean, I haven't it's weighed it. I think it's about... How much was um, the marble? A 27... <laughs> I think it's about 32. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's up to you, isn't it? Well, if it hasn't been weighed, then uh, it's null and void, right? Well, she said it was 32. Yeah. It's yeah, just about whether you trust me or not. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Oh, yeah, um, I've got some concrete. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I tell you, that cat will never not leave me alone. <laughs> so that's it, isn't it? Rob's from South East London. Why Bish, bash, bosh, fully full of concrete. <laughs> Done. <laughs> OK. Good luck with this. Uh, shall I go in last place? You, you're putting yourself in last... <laughs> yeah. okay. Words. You wouldn't fit Very tricky, aren't they? I'm going to put Sarah, because I've not been able to weigh a snake. OK. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, don't apologise. Uh, in fourth place, I, um... Guess what? I'm putting Paul Chowdhury for putting some <laughs> melon in the box. <laughs> Whilst I appreciate Al's cunning, I'm going to put Al in third place. Oh. Because, uh, because there's not enough history to that definition of heavy. What? That'll do. <laughs> Two... <laughs> Number one is Dave. He brought the heaviest thing in. Bam. Yeah. <laughs>
I'll stay on with the next task. Please, oh. Alex. Here we go. Hold on to your hat or put or put your hats away. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> That was our order, man. Scary clown. Do you want to see his horrible face? Is that a saw, isn't it? Tonight, we want to play a game. <laughs> Little things are more fun, are they? <laughs> Surprise Alex. Surprise Alex when he emerges from his shed in one hour. Your time starts now. Could I move the shed? <laughs> like, oh, that was what this is a metaphor for, like, it's a surprise. How far away do his family live? Go and kidnap his children from school. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out the shed and there they are. That would surprise him, wouldn't it? <laughs> are his kids in school? What if he kidnapped his kids? <laughs> they tied them to a shed. <laughs> shed. I mean, that would surprise him. The first thing we should address is Alan Sarah. I would argue that if Alex came out of his shed and his children were just there, <laughs> that would be quite a surprise. <laughs> and yet both of you wanted to take them against their will. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you suggest tying them up as well, Phil? <laughs> it's like, cos kids wriggle around. <laughs> you have to keep them in their place. Do you know who I want to see first? Yes, I do. Paul Chowdhury. <laughs> okay. yeah. We can do that. Let's see how Paul's mind works. <laughs> OK. <laughs> feel like there's something... <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's horrible. Blood on the thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's horrendous. Brown clown. Brown clown, that's what you're called. <laughs> well, thank you for that, brown clown. <laughs> very scary. Very good. Very good. That's Paul <laughs> debuting his new children's character. <laughs> Brown clown. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Alex had sort of set the task and we put a clown in a box. <laughs> like a human one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I knew that was you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to get a brown clown in that small box, so I thought if I did the real thing, well, you were pretty surprised, didn't it? I mean, I, I was quite surprised. So I'd been in there for an hour, this is what I do. I go in there, I do my secretarial duties. I knitted, yeah. that occasion, I knitted you some little booties. Oh, fuck us. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a couple of them. They're nice. Yeah. Thank you. And I came out and I saw the box, and I was surprised to see the box, but I did think there's probably a clown in the box. Yeah. <laughs> if there was a surprise meter how high would it have gone? It's a massive if. Um... <laughs> Good guess, isn't it? Yeah. About, hey? about that about high. that high. I want to know how long were you were in the box hiding as the brown clown for? About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes, <laughs> 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 Do you want to move on to Sarah? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I want to stay here all the time. <laughs> oh, I love you, Paul. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on to Sarah. OK. I mean, presumably someone's going to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone did. Yeah, someone did. <laughs> I guess I should be concerned. You all right, Joel? <laughs> what are you doing, you <laughs> Shall I untie you? Can you hear me? Uh, it's horrible. <laughs> when I, um... When I set the task, mm. and after you'd all completed them, I, I don't get many details, but I did ask Alex which ones he thought were surprising, and he said, and this is a direct quote, he said, for a, the smallest part of a second, I did think maybe Sarah had killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how competitive I am. Never do a surprise birthday party, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> for the tea and cake. Surprise! Oh, it's the head of a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what about the surprisometer? I mean, I don't quite know what shape the surprisometer is. <laughs> it's the surprisometer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess on the surprise I meet it, it's about the same as the clown. OK. It was a valiant and disturbing effort. Who's next? Al's. Okay, yeah. So look at Al's. Here is Al Murray's attempt. I mean, the not seen it before. lovely physique, but that, look at that. I mean, the, the dong and the gong. <laughs> How many horns? Four. Yeah. You're a four horn surprise. <laughs> We didn't provide that gong for Al. No, Al has a slight advantage of living near the Taskmaster house, so we could source a gong within an hour. I played drums on the side and I knew that there's a, there's a gong rental place... <laughs> <laughs> ..up the road. Al, I thought it was phenomenal and awful. Okay. Surprise a meter? It was... It, I mean, genuinely, it was the most surprising, cos it was, it was deafening and... Uh, yeah, most surprising so far. OK. Time for a break. How will Dave and Rob surprise Alex when he comes out of his shed? Find out in part two. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, where one of our lucky comedians will be heading home with a block of concrete, a lump of marble and some rotting watermelon. Alex, <laughs> how is the last task going? It's going OK. It's often been more disturbing than surprising, but there's two more to see. We're going to see Rob Beckett, but first... Mr. Dave Gorman. Ah, here we go. <laughs> is there a Gorman? Oh, oh, is there two part? Is it? Oh, okay. Right, yes. Okay. It says, dear Alex, please press the blue button. Whoa! <laughs> Good, good, good. <laughs> Why has he got that there? <laughs> Is he actually naked? I said boxers and he, he misunderstood. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best <laughs> one. Very nice. My first question is, um, how come you get to keep your clothes on and the camera crew don't? I make the rules. It's my, <laughs> it's my go. And also, I'm going to surprise him by not being there so the idea of surprising him by not being there, but being naked... <laughs> <laughs> ..doesn't really stack up. You, Checks out. You're buying that. I'm buying that. He did also buy them. You paid them a certain amount of money to take the clothes off. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh... <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I, I, it's about 200 quid, I think. It was... It was... Between them, between them. Between them, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they divvied it up, but there was 200 quid like on the table. Is that like rent prostitution? <laughs> <laughs> um, were you surprised? Yeah, I mean, the surprise was over a longer period of time, so it wasn't as immediate as the air horns... Right. ..or the dead body. <laughs> and then we have the clown. So, um... <laughs> yeah, I was... I was surprised. <laughs> OK, let's, uh, let's see how Rob did. Let's okay. see if he was surprising. Alex, you've been a bad boy. Quite a lot going on there. Quite <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? It's quite surprising, yeah. <laughs> quite surprising. Thank you, Rob. Sorry. Thank you for that. I'm sorry, you're right. Are you wet? <laughs> well, I mean, incredible, right? Mm. <laughs> he was reasonably caring. After he did it, he said, Are you wet? Which is nice. <laughs> 
When you were cackling dressed as a nan on that yeah. sofa, I, all, I thought I saw your teeth visibly growing. You were so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> they do when I get really excited. <laughs> I mean, it's just mad. Where did the nan thing come from? Uh, I mean, basically, when we were filming that, like, I'd had a kid the week before and I'd about ten hours sleep and I think I'd gone mad. <laughs> At the beginning of a breakdown. Okay. We've got our winner. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Instinct tells me, possibly number two, is that all those all those hours down the gym have paid off for Al Murray. It mate. was the barrage on the senses in general that was impressive. So it was the wet and then it was the noise. Yeah. yeah. How many air horns? Four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Second place, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let's let's not say Paul's definitely last, but I'll, I'll pop clown in just for now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put Dave ahead of Sarah purely because he used bribery, nakedness. There's a hint of sexual exploitation in there, <laughs> uh, and then he jumped out of a bush and said boo. So. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, done. There it is. It's done, ladies okay. and gentlemen. <laughs> right. Let's find out how they're doing. At this okay. Stage. Well, after two rounds, we have an early leader, and that is uh, Mr. Rob Beckett. Whoa! <laughs> The Nan Jet Wash Cliché pays dividends. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's have another task, please, Alex. OK, this one is the first team task of the series. Mm. Hello. Hello. There's a gonk. Pardon? A gonk? Do you call him? A troll. Oh, just different generations. Hello. Hello. How are you? It's one of you, wanna? Paul. Your time starts now. Oh, what's what? the question? Nothing. Taskmaster. <laughs> Your time starts now. <laughs> time starts now. Your time starts now. That's all it says. Do you care to explain? There's a message in a bottle. <laughs> oh, there's a message in a bottle. Is that relevant? Dear, dear, dear with blank, love. with love. OK, it's not that, then. <laughs> no. Have you got a task in your hand? Anything? What are you doing? Oh, here oh! we go. Oh! It's tied up. Ah, oh, that's locked to the combination on it. I can't oh, I can there pick might that. be something in there. Can, can you, you pick, pick that? Yeah. Oh. Pens. <laughs> Perhaps there's something written on that in UV. Ah! Release Alex fastest wins. Right. OK, so the key is needed, I guess. Yeah, which is in here. <laughs> My first question is, have you two, have you ever met each other's parents? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're clearly brother and sister. <laughs> with... I sometimes get um, the people who are trying to be horrible to me on the internet yeah. saying that I'm just you in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> We've just seen that. I don't, <laughs> exactly. just, I don't take well, it as an insult. Well, that's your future with the jet wash. <laughs> that's me. That's me in my 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Really good. So, um, Paul, you can um, pick any lock, right? <laughs> any lock. Any lock. Did you successfully pick that lock? Didn't pick that one, but... Oh. <laughs> Did you start with the siblings? The siblings. <laughs> Let's see the uh, sinister Aryan twins. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy says we're good at puzzles. <laughs> um, so what would you use? Would you use a biro? I don't know, I've never busted someone out of jail. Let's um, bend him over the table. <laughs> I've got a torch on. Oops. You're oh. making it slightly tighter. Well, it's not my problem, is it? They are very tight now, aren't they? They really are. Oh, it's a secret message, maybe. Release how it's fast as wins. Well, where's the clue? Look on the phone. What? Where's the phone? Look on the phone. Why is this in your phone, Alex? What are you getting locked up, you dirty? Look on the phone. Pictures of phones. Ah. Oh. Oh! 911 to get in this little. Oh, the puzzle. Yeah. That's a joke. 
never done this speedy puzzle before and I think I'm enjoying it. There's, there's a message on the back. Hey! Not a pussy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're doing it the harder way. Yeah. OK, OK. What does it say? Karma. Karma. Karma by Gregory Davis. Here we go. So it's page 72. Page 72, word 14. Word 14 on this page. 12, 13, 14. Shedding. Shedding. In the shed? One. Oh, yeah. It's open. <laughs> ah! I don't know what that was. No, the cracker. <laughs> I've got the stuff in here. Is there stuff in there? It says peas again. Look behind the picture. That's picture. No. Oh, there's loads of pictures here. You go and look at all the pictures. Oh, it's not in his hand, is it? Oh, you f myself. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly looked in there. You kept it. <laughs> what happened? It was in his hand. What, well, the picture was in his hand? No, the... What, the key? <laughs> yeah. Stop the clock. <laughs> Two blonde kids having fun together. <laughs> Two Aryan twins solving problems. Yeah. Couple of Nazi kids free in a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop for a break now. Come back and see if Dave and Al and Paul tackled the task in a faster time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Welcome back. There are five shoe boxes up for grabs tonight, and one of them might contain a dead snake. <laughs> Am I right in thinking we were partway through a task? You are always right in thinking, Greg. We are about to see if the beards can prove that uh, <laughs> the three heads are better than two. Here we go. You might have a key on you. No, it's worth it. Maybe there are some numbers in... There's got to be numbers in the room that um, tell us the... You know, karma tests, Greg or Davis. There's 268 pages in this book. I'm gonna try 268. I mean, try it's not gonna be 268. That might be a number available to us. The barometer, pens. There's a penny here. String. Is it on here? Look, Look on, on the, the phone. phone. Look on the phone. Oh. On the phone. I mean, all the numbers are here. <laughs> That's the nature of phones. Which one has four on them? Just nine. Nine seven. There's probably another phone. That's maybe where we're um, making our hideous blunder. There's probably another phone somewhere. There's probably another phone somewhere. It's good luck, this. Ah, Greg's Greg's holding a phone in that picture. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Nine one one. Nine one one. We are a trio of dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh for God's sake. Oh. <laughs> The letter is on the upside, there, but the le lettering's on the upside down. Page. It's going to be turned to page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're looking for a number. There's a two. Greg, the Gregor Davis book, so it's the Taskmaster yeah, yeah. book. Page 72, word 34. 31, 32, 33, 34. Was. Can't be right. Oh. <laughs> 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 13. Shedding. Shed. Oh. Oh. Look behind a picture. Behind the picture. Behind the picture. Behind Greg's picture. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anything on there? That's not. What's the? Ah, the photograph of a key. It's in. It's in his hands. <laughs> oh, thanks, Al. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Too. Three, three great minds, <laughs> or a trio of dickheads. <laughs> Paul's one of the great uh, criminal minds of our time, isn't he? <laughs> I believe you are still picking the lock for. Yeah. <laughs> Is that because he thought there was some melon in it? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to lift it if it was melon. There's <laughs> <laughs> three of them. <laughs> <laughs> You did, you, they had two people, we had th I had these two distracting me. <laughs> if you'd have done that task on your own, you'd still be there trying to pick that lock. <laughs> I would have got it sooner or later. And though. I'll tell you this, <laughs> I'd watch that television. <laughs> Incredible. Well, I don't think there's going to be a big surprise here about who's won, but... Well, uh... this team, the beard, uh, their overall time was 27 minutes and 37 seconds. So right. nearly half an hour. Uh, you, probably, you probably knew that. Um, <laughs> Sarah and Rob took 
16 minutes and 46 seconds. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, moving on. Hey, Alex, do you have something quick we could see? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Create the best upside down self, self portrait using only the material supplied. I don't understand the upside downness. The taskmaster will judge the picture when it has been rotated 180 degrees. So I'll go as many upside down on here. Right, okay, I get yeah, that. You don't have to be upside down. What? The picture does, but you can be the right way right, up. Oh, right, okay, right, yeah, good. That's <laughs> I'm with you now, okay. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> well, it's pretty straightforward. Is uh, the task you're excited by? I really got into it. I really enjoyed it and felt a moment of creative expression that I hadn't felt in a long time. I won in his pants again, was he? <laughs> <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Four air horns out. Wow. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Do you want to see Al really getting into it? Do I? OK. <laughs> we can see them all having a go. What is this? Ketchup. Ketchup! That looks a lot like mustard and ketchup and brown sauce. What's this? Red. This isn't brown sauce, is it? It's brown sauce. What's that? White. Squashy cream. They're not paints, they're sauces. What's this? Green. Burger sauce. Mustard. Okie dokie, then. Oh, cheap vinegary that. touches this with their hands, they're gross. Right, I think it's an exciting time for art right now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a proper artist. Look at it. It's dripping out. Uh, but it's that the squirt is, isn't as good. Condiments have never been my medium. Run out of brown. You should have provided me with more brown. <laughs> you know this. This is racist. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You give me loads of white, no brown. Done. <laughs> Didn't expect uh, to be any racial tension <laughs> during an exercise I... of spraying condiments against a brick wall. I had a... They had an unfair advantage, all of them, because there was loads of white spray. There was no, not enough. Well, there was brown sauce. There, there was, was. There was more white though, wasn't it? Well, what's that more white? No. It's, it was cream. But you always come up with these excuses. <laughs> <laughs> what, you people? <laughs> Do you want to see all five portraits? Yes. So you've just got to judge which one's best, which one's worst, and then also second and fourth and also third. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I can do it in that order, if you like. OK. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You want to start with best? Mine, mine ran, cos the wall was wet. And yet, to scale. <laughs> I love them. I, so yeah. Sarah's is the only full-length one. She's not done her face and her hair is going up. Yeah. I was doing a handstand in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So that way I could paint it the right way up. Yeah. That's how I do a handstand. And do you know, I genuinely presume that's what you're doing. I thought, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a handstand portrait. Yeah. You don't yep. see many of them in the National Portrait Gallery. <laughs> not you? as many as there should be. It's technically a portrait, right? Yes. A portrait is a painting, drawing, photograph or engraving of a person, especially one depicting over whoa, the whoa, face. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm bored. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Who's your favourite? Pick your favourite. I think it's Al Murray's. Yeah. It was lovely, yeah. yeah. Do you know why? No. There's a sadness to those condiment eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So we've got first. Do you want to go second? Yeah, I'm going to give it to Sarah just for her creativity. It's a okay. handstand. Ah. Bam. Okay. It's in. That's good. Third, fourth, fifth. I'm going to give third to Dave because that face <laughs> it gives me an element of joy because I think I think he's making this noise. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't separate the madness on the bottom, so we'll put, <laughs> we'll put them in joint uh, last place. Bam! Join it. OK, good. OK, yeah, done. 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 good. Hey, what's that done to our scoreboard, Alex? We have a runaway leader so far. Get out of town. Leading the whole way through so far is Mr Rob Beckett. He's on 16. Whoa! Whoa! Two tasks to go. What's next, Alex? 
we have another task. Hi, Al. Hi. Hi. Is it in here? Yeah. I don't like popping balloons. You don't like popping balloons? No. Oh. I'm going to... Very suspicious, Al. They look like they're in Morse code or something. Really? The balloons, yeah. Four dots, three dashes or something, I don't know. <laughs> Done. Oh, it's the... Taking the piss, mate. Pop the balloons. Fastest wins. Your time starts when you pop the next balloon. Oh, good God, I actually hadn't even noticed those. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, not ideal if I do that approach, is it? <laughs> pop all the balloons. Time starts when I do my first one. Right, OK. How am I supposed to pop these balloons to go along that took? I've already lost this task. <laughs> Time's on the start. Yeah. Pop all of the balloons as quickly as you can. Simple task. So the time starts when you pop your first, first balloon. balloon. Now, these are intelligent people. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not just going to steam in and just start popping the balloons. No, no, because they can make a plan. They can they're get, gonna, get something. So they're they're going to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you want to start with Dave and Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got the keys in my pocket. That's annoying. OK. Yeah, they are all popped. Thanks, Dave. I'm <laughs> fascinated. <laughs> medically fascinated. <laughs> so Dave was... I mean, he was particularly feral. He used his beard at times. He was just sort of round on one minute... <laughs> what I think about when I think of Dave Gorman? Feral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one minute 50. Sub two. Sarah, also sub two. One minute 58. Oh! All oh. that oh. slow-mo ones you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's go to a logical brain. Paul, really? <laughs> okay, we can see Paul and Rob together. Let's. Okay. Could be a winner. Is, it, is anyone? Is there a lighter anywhere? <laughs> this could pop some in one hand. It's quite dangerous, but uh, it's the old knuckle duster trick, you know. Or <laughs> well, if I get one in each hand, fastest wins. All right. Right. Shuriken! One left. I mean, it's a bit like watching the evolution of humankind, this show, really. <laughs> First, we, we see the very basic primates using their teeth. <laughs> and then they discover tools. I've seen that in Mortal Kombat. 
So I, 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 I got the reference. No, that was Street Fighter 2. But... Oh, I didn't get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> and nice to see that you're consistent with your use of the word <laughs> as well. <laughs> Last episode, you called a rabbit covered in a slush puppy a it's the turn of the balloon community. <laughs> that was a snowman in the last one. That was that. It wasn't a snowman, mate. <laughs> good though, really good. Rob? Yeah, I basically started off with a corkscrew and another corkscrew. Yeah, you could say, you could say two corkscrews. I had two corkscrews, yeah, but yeah. one corkscrew is better, so I stopped to do that, but then in the end I just went for one handed swipes like a sort of angry cat. <laughs> Very impressive, but how impressive was it time wise? Well, weirdly, Paul wasn't that much quicker than the biters. One minute 26. It's quicker, oh, yeah. not that much. Uh, Rob, who sort of treated them like wine bottles, unscrewed them, 31.6 oh, seconds. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, Al Murray's balloon frenzy still to come. Find out how he did in about three minutes. Plus, all five head to the stage for the final task of the show. Yes, they will. See you soon. <laughs>See you again. It's the final part of the show, and there's a live task just around the corner. But first, we need to conclude the task at hand. Alex. Hi, Greg. So, uh, the current task <laughs> involves popping balloons as fast as possible. The current time to beat is 31.6 seconds, achieved by Rob Beckett. And uh, we've just got Al to go. Are you ready for Al? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Here he is. Oh! Hell. Are they all going to fit, Al? No, they're not all going to fit. Right. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean this isn't a good idea. No, 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 <laughs> not. What is the idea, Al? To group the balloons together into a small amount together as possible. Yeah. And then commence popping them. One big pop. To try and get them all in one go. Yeah. To to narrow the time down. Yeah. But I can take as long as I like over managing the time. Yeah. So far, I've taken no time over this, even though we're taking a long time over it. Yeah. Trust me, this is the obvious way to do it. Rather than running around in a frenzied idiot panic. <laughs> it's either this or the cricket bat. Is it? For England. You know? <laughs> Just got to reorganise these balloons. <laughs> right. Stop in the clock there. You're, you're all gone. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. I only lost two balloons, was it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's, yeah. Thanks. I enjoyed that. All right. Thank you, Al. We'll do. We'll deal with this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a really clever idea, uh, horrifically executed. <laughs> <laughs> what would the, I mean, obviously, the terrible news is that there were two escaped balloons. Yet to be popped. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably popped by now, but yeah. we can't verify it, so it's not looking good for him. He spent 34.6 seconds smashing it with a cricket bat, so he would have come in second, but the two... Behind were... Rob's corkscrew. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Was there anything else about his attempt? I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the task, Al said something. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. They look like they're in Morse code or something. The balloons, yeah. Four dots, three dashes, or something, I don't know. It does, doesn't it? It does look a bit like Morse code. So, because you said that, we had a look at it and... We checked it out just... Weirdly, it was... What? It says this. To Mr. Rob Beckett. <laughs> okay, everyone, before we find out who's going home with five filled shoe boxes, could you please head up to the stage for the final task of the show? <laughs> could, um, 
Paul read the tusk out, please. OK, Paul, that's for you. Read it nice and clearly, Paul. Unravel a whole roll of sticky tape. Put the unravel sticky tape in your lunchbox. Close your lunchbox. <laughs> Fastest wins. Fastest wins, you're right, Paul. And nice that you did it in the tone of voice of a sort of Batman film. <laughs> So in your boxes, you've got sticky tape if you want to open your boxes. All the sticky tape has to come off the roll and has to all go in the lunchbox and the lunchbox has to shut. If you could stop looking for the end of the tape, please. Put the tape down, everybody. Sorry. Look you up did. into the air. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alex, blow your whistle. Go. 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 go! Yeah, that's done. There's a lot in your hand. There's a lot in your hand. That's got to go in the box. <laughs> You've got to start again. I'm done. I didn't listen, did I? Even Batman read it out, you didn't listen. Yeah. So OK, can you all come down and we'll see how that's affected the scores? <laughs> Did that all go according to plan, Alex? For most of them. <laughs> Rob's still going. He's so tight. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretend it's someone else now, isn't it? Do you want the scores, Greg? I really do want the scores. OK, well, I'm afraid Rob doesn't get any points for that. He didn't complete the task. Um, Sarah did it in 1 minute 46. There was only two seconds separating Paul and Dave. Uh, Paul was two seconds quicker than Dave. <gasps> was he really? Yeah, yeah 1 minute 12. But sub 1 minute, Al Murray in uh, 55 seconds, an entire wow. world record. <laughs> Thanks to his Commonwealth record there with the Solitaire, he has retained the series lead. But the winner of this particular episode is uh, Mr Rob Becker! Rob Becker! <laughs> Rob Beckett is the winner of five luxury shoeboxes, a prize that he told me in the break he thought was rubbish. <laughs> Please, go and retrieve your prizes. <laughs> hey, thanks for today, Alex. Hey, thanks for thanking me today, Greg. Thanks again, Alex. OK. And um, what have we learned today, then? Well, what we've learned is if Alfred Hitchcock wanted to make the end of Psycho really scary, he should have shoved a jet washer in that old woman's hand. <laughs> And, of course, we've also learned that, against the odds, our winner tonight is Rob Beckett! <laughs> well done. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>